What is the difference between a T8 UVB bulb and a T5HO UVB bulb? Does it matter? Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Mariah Healy and I'm a professional reptile husbandry specialist and the author of Reptifiles.com. You may have heard that UVB is important for keeping pet reptiles healthy. And so you, being a concerned reptile owner who wants the best for your pet, went to the store to buy a UVB bulb. You head to the supplies aisle, only to find that there are a lot of different kinds of reptile bulbs. You manage to find your way to the linear fluorescent UVBs, find the strength rating that you need, and you're feeling pretty good about yourself until you see that there are two different types of linear fluorescence, T8 and T5HO. To put it simply, T8 and T5HO are different sizes of fluorescent tube, with T8 having a wider diameter than T5. The HO bit stands for high output, which indicates that a T5HO bulb is much more powerful than a T5SO, or standard output bulb. T8 bulbs are also older technology than T5 bulbs. In the context of UVB, a T5 bulb produces stronger UVB than a T8 bulb, and this is important because the strength of UVB diminishes as distance from the bulb increases. In other words, T5 UVB bulbs produce more UVB than T8s, which is particularly important for tall enclosures and for species that need exposure to particularly high levels of UVB, such as bearded dragons, euromastics, monitor lizards, etc. However, more isn't always better. A T8 can be the better choice if you have a small climbing species that likes to hang out on the underside of the terrarium mesh. Both can be perfectly useful in the right application. But T5 bulbs have become more popular because not only are they more energy efficient, but they also last longer. Although this varies by brand, T8 bulbs generally last only six months before running out of the UVB that is advertised, while T5 bulbs last an average of 12 months. Ultimately, choose the type of UVB bulb that will give your reptile the right level of UVB, also known as UVI or UV index at its basking spot. To make the decision making process easier, head on over to reptifiles.com to find a care sheet or manual with detailed information on what type of UVB you need for your pet and how far away it should be. Or comment on this video with what type of reptile you have and I'll give you a recommendation. For more information about UVB and professional reptile care advice, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a heart for the algorithm.